Afternoon, guys. I'll try and talk loud because it is pouring rain. <laughs> we had a, uh, yeah, I guess I have my safety glasses on still. Uh, yeah, we have a big storm coming through right now. Today's about the third day. Um, yeah, just pretty much dumping 24 seven for uh, the last two and a half, three days. I think it's going to continue for another day or two. <clears throat> anyway, we need the water, right? We need the rain. So by uh, what you saw with the title, you know, like, this is going to be building a chicken tractor. I figure it's a good day for an indoor project. Because, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, like, all the puddles. Like, Hear the rain so I'm gonna work in the shop actually I've been working I was building some cabinets for my buddy Gabe I was helping him at first but then I'm finishing up the last bits for him uh, but I'm done with that so now it's time to build a chicken tractor so as always thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and let's get to work all right so my supplies for this project are just gonna be PVC uh, I picked up, this is two inch PVC and half inch PVC. I did want to get the three inch, but they didn't have any in stock, so I just went with the two inch. And then I have a broom handle that I'm gonna use for a roosting post. I have some welded wire. This is half inch by half inch, 19 gauge wire. I have some zip ties. Uh, I do need a tarp, but that's not my tarp, that's Gabe's tarp. <laughs> and then I have the two inch 90s and some of the half inch 90s. So basically this is what I'm gonna be building. This is just a basic design that pretty much everybody does. Uh, mine is not gonna be as big as I've seen a lot of them built. So it's gonna roughly be about six feet this way and then it's gonna be about four feet this way. And then these hoops are 10 foot hoops. They, I might cut them down a little bit but we'll see how it looks once I start putting them in. And then it's gonna have a door here that's gonna just fold up and down. And then the whole thing will be covered with the welded wire, minus the bottom. It will be open, of course, so that the chicks can go in and, uh, you know, forage, eat grass, do all that. Basically learn how to be chickens outside. So right now we have, uh, let me flip the camera. So right now we have uh, five baby chicks, and I'm going to be picking up, I think, like four more, maybe next week. I'm just waiting. Um, we never really... I was never really set up for doing um, chicks. I would always buy my chickens after they were already three to four months old. Um, so that's why I have to build a chicken tractor now. So finding pullets on the island has been kind of difficult. Um, just, I'm, I know that there's some, but I was looking for certain breeds. Um, and the ones that I was looking for, I couldn't find pullets anywhere. Nobody had them. So I ended up getting some chicks and now we're raising chicks and yeah so right now the chicks are inside in the house they're in a brooder which is basically just a tote with a heat lamp on it and uh i'll show a video of them um just so you can see like i'm sure everybody knows what baby chicks look like so they have to stay in there for three weeks to four weeks roughly um some people say two weeks um a local a woman here that lives in the same community as me. She's like, does all kinds of like classes on raising chickens and butchering chickens and all that kind of stuff. I've been talking with her and she told me she usually waits three to four weeks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, right now, our oldest chick is two weeks old today, actually, today's Saturday. Um, and then the other ones are just a couple days behind that one. Um, I do think that we might have one or two of them might be males, so we'll see as they get older. Um, but of course, we're looking for, I'm looking for females, hens to add to our flock. Now that I have the bigger um, chicken coop built, I can house a lot more birds. And then once I get the paddock back there and then move all the chickens back, um, I should be able to keep anywhere from about 24 to 28 birds and they'll all be comfortable and not overcrowded. Um, 
so we'll see how it goes because um, eventually I'm, I will start selling eggs. Uh, right now, like all the overflow eggs that I have, I've been giving to neighbors or giving away to friends, you know, that, that need eggs. Um, but ultimately, I probably will start selling them just to cover the cost of feed and stuff like that. So anyway, after all of that explanation, I'm going to get to work. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start with the bottom frame, which is the, the um, square, essentially, that's going to be on the bottom. So that's going to be all of the two inch material. So I'm going to get that cut up and then start putting it together. All right, so I have my pieces cut and they're all glued together now. Um, basically what I did is I had, these were 10 foot uh, sticks of two inch PVC. So all I did was cut them at six foot, the remaining is four foot, and then that's what I put together. So this is gonna be the size of my chicken tractor. The next step, I will get a half inch drill bit and I'm gonna start drilling holes along on the long sides. Uh, and then that's where the half inch will go into it. Um, and basically it's just gonna be stuck into the hole and then the tension of it being on the hoop is gonna hold it. And then also once I put the uh, welded wire on, it's all gonna be tie wrapped together. So everything's gonna be held together by that. So the next step I'm going to do is get this marked out and I'm going to be putting uh, every 18 inches I believe is what I figured out. Something like that. Yeah, I think it's every 18 inches. So basically one, 18 inches, 18 inches, 18 inches, one. Um, so five pieces for that. And then I got an additional piece to make the door out of. So let me get this marked up and then uh, we'll get those holes drilled. And also another thing, if you're in a rainy environment like I am, um, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom too. Probably one on each side of the corner, on each corner, because this thing will fill up with water and then you're gonna have a really hard time moving it if you're in a, in a place where it rains a lot. So <laughs> um, let me get this measured out and get the half inch holes drilled and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Some of the girls out and about in the rain walking through puddles. Man, I need to get the weed whacker out. <laughs> they're all sleeping right now. But they're gonna jump up. This is Bodhi. He's the oldest. Come on, buddy. What is that? He's like, oh, that's something shiny. <laughs> get it. So this is our five chicks that we have right now. And like I said, they're basically just in a tote. They have food and water in here and a heat lamp. So Bodhi is two weeks old today. And then the other four are probably two days to three days behind him. So you can see he's starting to get feathers and stuff. No, he won't let me grab them. <laughs> I'm gonna try and pull his wing out, but you can see they're getting feathers. So another uh, week or two, they'll be ready to go outside. All right, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, this is just going to be the straight 10 foot pole. I just want to see what kind of a hoop it's going to make and see how tall it's going to be. I think that's pretty good. So that ends up being. Uh, So 
So that's just about four feet tall. So then essentially it's six foot by four foot plus a couple inches for the corners and then four feet tall. So I think that looks good. Um, I'll go ahead and get the rest of these put in. And then this looks like it's flimsy now, but once I start attaching the welded wire and everything gets tie wrapped on, then it'll be more rigid. So let me get to that step. All right, so you're starting to see kind of how this is taking shape. Uh, I'll probably just do the rest of this off camera because um, this is like where my OCD is going to kick in and I have to make sure all the zip ties are going the same direction. <laughs> um, and when, if you do this, you want to make sure you get the, um, the black uh, zip ties because those ones have a UV protectant in them. The white ones will actually dry rot after a while and then they'll just break off and then your whole thing will come apart. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually use like, you know, bailing, uh, uh, not bailing wire, but there's like the thin wire. I guess it's the same stuff that you would use to like tie up rebar. I mean, you can put that on here or any kind of galvanized wire. You could use that to tie it on and you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Uh, cause even these ones, I think after a while, um, can get dry rotted. So I'm going to continue on, uh, but you kind of see where it goes. I did these 18 inches and I got three foot uh, welded wire. So that way the two pieces will join in the middle on the middle rib. So that was intentional. So when you're doing this, you have to kind of, I guess, see what materials you're going to use and how big you're going to make your chicken tractor and then kind of do that, you know, just like when you're building a house or a building, everything is kind of in four foot increments, you know, for siding, drywall, like all that kind of stuff is in four foot increments. So I'm going to continue on and then I'll be back. Oh, what's up, Skull? Going out to the rain, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up and then I'll be back. All right, so I ran into town and I got a tarp and I had to get a couple more small rolls of uh, fencing. But this is my progress so far. Uh, all the zip ties on there. Looks like a porcupine. <laughs> uh, and then I have the bottom section because these are only three foot rolls. So this one is uh, tied in on the back. And then there will be another piece that will finish this up. And then on this side, it's going to be covered by the tarp anyway. So probably about from the halfway point. So I got a 8 by 10 tarp. So the 10 foot will go over and it should go all the way to the bottom on both sides. The eight foot will tie in here and come this way and then it'll get wrapped down the side. Basically to give them one side protected from the rain and wind. Um, this gets a little tricky um, trying to get these tie wraps on like in these middle sections. Um, so I had to like I set this thing up on its end and I kind of put both pieces through and then I went around to the other side and did it. So it wasn't too bad, I guess, but it would have been easier with two people. So this is where I'm at now. Um, pretty much the next step is going to be building the, you know, putting the door together. And basically what that is is going to be doing a hoop with two 90s and then a bottom piece. And I had one extra piece of the, uh, electrical conduit, which is essentially gray PVC, um, cause I didn't have enough with the single one. So I'll make the bottom or whatever section out of that. And then I have my nineties over there on the bench and I'll get started on the door. And then it'll be trimming off all these zip ties and then getting the tarp put on. And then I'm going to start working on the roosting bars. They're going to go inside. And I think what I'm going to do, I have the one long one. So I think I'm going to do a section going all the way across and then I'll do a couple pieces, you know, going like this way, perpendicular to that one. And I'll just connect them together. All right. I'm inside the chicken tractor. <laughs> so I got the back done. As you can see, 
I ended up using some uh, regular chicken wire here to fill in because I didn't want to spend another 15 bucks on another roll. This wire, welded wire mesh is kind of expensive. So I just have the tarp over top now and let me get out. <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty close. Of course, this is gonna be tied up. The back will get folded around so everything will be flat. Um, I'm gonna build the roosting bars in there and then I have to do the door, of course, still. So a little progress. Okay, so the roosting bars are in. I ended up doing them about 15 inches off the ground. So they should be able to jump that, no problem. I think normal roosting bars are anywhere from like 18 to 24 inches. Um, so that should be okay. Plus there's gonna be grass in here and like, it's probably not gonna be fully 15 inches, but they'll figure it out. By the time they go in here, they should be able to jump pretty good. If not, in the meantime, I may put some kind of a little box for them to get out of the, the grass, you know, if the grass is wet or whatever. So or I might attach something in the corner over there. I'll figure that out though. All right, so I got that thing fully zip tied on. All I did with in the back is I just kind of folded it and then on the bottom I rolled it all real tight and I cut a little slit and then I just put a tie wrap there so that that's on the bottom. And I kind of tried to do it so that any water that gets in here will just drain out the way that I rolled it up. Hopefully, you know, we'll see. But I mean, this tarp is going to get worn out uh, over time anyway and will need to be replaced. And also, I don't know how often we're going to be having baby chicks, but can I help you with something? Oh my gosh. So needy. Such a neglected dog. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's done now. Um, the last thing I have to do is to make a door. So I'm going to get started on that. All right, so I have the hoop for the door made. And as you can see, I made it so that it's slightly larger than the uh, actual hoop of the house part. Um, and that's so that when this closes up, it can go over top and then you, you know, get a nice secure connection. So basically you'll have wire to wire. Um, it depends on what kind of predators, I guess, you have in your area. The only thing really we have to deal with here is rats. And then of course, mongoose. I've never seen a mongoose on my property, but that doesn't mean that they're not around. Um, the rats don't really mess with the chickens. They just go after the food. Um, mongoose, of course, will, you know, they love eating baby chicks. So, um, but that's all part of, like, the whole reason why chicks go into these tractors is so that they get big enough, then they can go in with a regular flock. Because if you try and put them in and they're not, you know, from a hen that's in your flock, then they'll get picked on and possibly even killed. So this is mostly to protect the chicks from the other chickens until they're big enough to defend themselves. So yeah, the door is done. Now I just got to put fencing on it and then it's going to get attached at the bottom and this whole thing is basically just going to open like a drawbridge. So let me get to that. All right, it's been a few days since I've been out here to work on this, but as you can see, I'm getting the uh, gate or the I guess the door uh, all set up. So I have the chi uh, chicken wire, welded wire um, sp spread across, zip tied around. Now I just have to trim the perimeter. And then I also have to go and I gotta put some smaller zip ties on this um, center spot where it overlaps because this was actually two rolls. Uh, but I'm just about done with this. I'll get it cleaned up and then just a matter of attaching it on there on the bottom. So. Let me get this trimmed up and then uh, we can get it installed on the tractor. And there we go, the thing is done.
So I may end up switching these out and just get some short bungee cords that have hooks on them, but I'll see how much of a pain this is gonna be. Um, but basically you can, you know, just hook those or unhook them. And then the uh, whole thing will drop down. So if it's hitting the wood pile there, but that's basically how it's gonna work. And then that way I can step inside if I need to go in to like fill the food, change water, or whatever I need to do. So I think that's it, man. That's gonna, this thing's pretty much done. So it's ready to go out in the grass. Um, this is basically just gonna go in our front yard, like outside the, you know, right off the lanai area. Um, I just gotta remember to feed those through before I close the door so that I can actually close the door. Boom. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. So uh, I just wanted to go over kind of what I used for this and then how much it costed. Um, so for the base of the chicken tractor, I used two inch PVC, which I wanted to do three inch. Uh, they just were out of stock at Home Depot at the time. So I used two inch PVC and that was two 10 foot pieces, then four 90s for the corners. For the hoops, I used half inch PVC and I used five of those for the, the main hoops. And then I used another two for the door. And then I used the 19 gauge half inch by half inch welded wire, which is this stuff that's on there. And then the tarp is an eight by 10 tarp. And then of course a pack of zip ties. So I think for everything that I spent on this, it was probably between $150 and $200. Oh, and I also bought the, the broomstick handle inside for the roosting uh, pole or roosting rod. Uh, so yeah, for the whole thing, it was just under $200 though. So fairly inexpensive. Um, and this is something I'll be able to keep using for you know a long time, as long as it holds up. But it shouldn't rust. It's galvanized wire. Now it's starting to rain, <laughs> so it's going to get loud in here. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Aloha.